Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So in this video, we'll be doing in-depth review of Oxygen OS 12.1 for OnePlus 7 and 70 series. We'll talk about all the issues which I have faced and I've also gone through all the comments which you guys posted on our community tab. So you guys can watch the entire video to know whether issues which you were facing have been fixed or not. So now without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 7 Pro on which I am running Oxygen OS 12.1 stable build from past few days and I've used this device as my primary phone. We held the review because OnePlus released the second stable build of Oxygen OS 12.1 for 7 and 70 series with these minor fixes. If you guys still haven't received the OTA update, I'll try to provide the download links in the description below. Just download the file and perform a local upgrade and you'll be good to go. Guys, before moving ahead, let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video. We still have 82% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. So if you guys find our videos helpful to you, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. So I can say this second build is quite stable. There are very minor issues which doesn't affect the daily usage. But there is one thing which I am concerned about and that's heating of the device. With normal usage also device do warms up and if you do gaming then you will see a lot of heating issues on OnePlus 7 and 70 series. And I kind of feel Oxygen OS 12 is too heavy for OnePlus 7 series. First let's talk about the issues which I have faced. So one of them is related to always on display. You guys must be aware that always on display cannot be turned on throughout the day. OnePlus have kept the restrictions to power saving to save some battery life. But I'll be coming up with a new video by tomorrow in which I'll tell you guys how to enable always on display. But keep one thing in mind that will drain a lot of battery of your device. So one of the issue as I told you guys, if you see here on the lock screen if I'm using this Bitmoji feature, you can see the battery percentage is not aligned exactly in the center, it's towards the left side. So this is one issue which I have noticed and this is not with other smartphones which are running Oxygen OS 13 on my device. And another thing when it comes to always on display, so soon you double tap or you press the power key, for one second the screen automatically increases the brightness and again goes back to the normal. So let me show you if AOD is enabled and if I double tap here, you can see for once the screen increased a lot of brightness and then back to normal. This doesn't happen on other smartphones which are running Android 13 aka Oxygen OS 13. This is the only case with OnePlus 7 series running the latest stable build of Oxygen OS 12.1. So this is one issue which I have noticed related to always on display and I know some users might have faced this issue. So if you guys also face the same issues do let me know in the comment section below. And the next issue which I encountered is related to notifications. So I kind of not liking the overlapping of notification panel which I have been experiencing on Oxygen OS. You consider any version 12 or 13. So this is one case if you see towards the bottom side there should have been a proper segregation but the rounded corners you can see you still have a grayish background which usually doesn't happen when we see the proper segregation. This was a screenshot which I had taken. And here you can see the second overlapping with the notification panel. And here I'm not holding the notification panel I just scrolled it down and this is how it appeared. I know these are very minor issues but should have been taken care with stable builds of Oxygen OS. And here you can see another issue which was with the YouTube studio application but after the new update this thing has been taken care. This is how it used to appear on the previous I mean to say the first stable build of Oxygen OS 12.1 but now after this update this thing have been sorted out. And later another screenshot which I have. And here I have the second screenshot where you can see YouTube application sometimes creates issues. Like whenever I try to switch to PIP mode, this is how it appears in recent page and this is how it appears if I try to run YouTube application in PIP mode. Though this doesn't happen all the time and I'm not sure it's an issue with OnePlus OS or it's an issue with YouTube application. And there are a lot of users who have been asking us about the Netflix or you can say Widevine L1 certification. So let me show you the Netflix application. If I go to the playback specification on my OnePlus 7 Pro running Oxygen OS 12.1 the device do supports HDR10 and I also have Widevine L1 certification. Along with these things there are no issues with the payment applications too. I have been using this device as my primary phone and payment services like Google Pay, Paytm works perfectly fine. Another issue is related to the GameSpace application. So here I have noticed that GameSpace application doesn't add few games automatically and one of them was Battlegrounds Mobile India which I manually added and the second game was Grid Auto Sport. So these two games did not get automatically added. I had to manually add them and another issue 
which I faced during my usage that was related to pop-up camera on OnePlus 7 Pro. I don't know due to some reason I was using WhatsApp application. I wasn't having the other device so couldn't record a video. Suddenly I got a call and the camera popped up. After that even I disconnected the call but the camera did not go back to its normal place. So I had to manually or you can say forcefully push the camera and after that it again started working. From that time, I haven't faced that issue that I only faced once. Also on the first stable build of Oxygen OS, many users were complaining about the color calibration issues. But after the second build, I personally did not notice any kind of issues related to color calibration or you can say screen color modes. For me, everything seems to be fine. You consider any mode natural, pro or vivid. I also saw a comment wherein user was saying that if they increase the screen of time to 30 minutes and later they reboot the device, it automatically switches to 15 seconds. So I have tested that thing and again I'll show you guys. Let me power off the device. And after the update of Oxygen OS 12, OnePlus 7 and 70 series still takes approximate a minute to reboot, which wasn't the case on Oxygen OS 11 stable build. That device hardly used to take 15-20 seconds to boot up. Let me unlock the device and show you the screen of time. If you go to settings, display and here you can see. There are no changes in the auto screen of time. And the last thing which I saw few people have commented about and that's related to the private safe or app lock in which users have claimed that if they lock the application or if they use the private safe, they don't get to see the fingerprint icon. They only get option to unlock using pin code. But let me show you here. So here you can see private safe and app lock have been enabled on my device. And if I even get the notification, so here you can see I have a telegram notification. If I tap on it, I do get an option to verify with my fingerprint. So there are no issues with this issue, which you guys have been mentioning in the comment section below, or you can say community tab. It works perfectly fine for me on this OnePlus 7 Pro. So these were some of the issues which I have faced and I have also answered few of your queries which you guys mentioned on community tab. Now talking about the battery backup on OnePlus 7 Pro or 7 series after the update of Oxygen OS 12.1 stable build and I'll also show you guys the charging time. So here you can see this is the first charging cycle or you can say charging speed which I tested after updating to first stable build of Oxygen OS 12.1 wherein I started the device to charge at 1254 and exactly at 219 my device was completely charged which took approximate 1 hour and 25 minutes. Here you can see the overnight battery drain. I left the device idle at 1230 in the night and morning at 620 the device only drained 4% of battery and this is with ambient display turned on and all the battery backups are taken using 90 hertz plus quad hd plus display so resolution was set to maximum along with refresh rate here is the first screen on time where you can see screen on time is 3 hours and 18 minutes a decent battery backup from an old device on day one i did notice google play services was draining extra battery which usually doesn't happen after that this thing got sorted out and let me show you the second battery cycle here you can see 4 hours and 2 minutes of screen on time with 20% battery still remaining. This is the third battery cycle wherein I got 4 hours and 17 minutes of screen on time and guys all these screen on times are with normal usage without any kind of gaming. So later then we received a new update which was of around 111 MB. I'll show you the charging test which I did after this update which is second stable build of Oxygen OS 12.1. Here you can see I started charging my device when it was at 5% and the time was 740 and device fully charged at 99 which took around 29 minutes to completely charge though i did not notice much of delays in the charging speed after this update also and that do happens guys because not every time i start charging at two percent or three percent and this is the screen on time after the second update wherein i got three hours and 26 minutes of screen on time in which i did gaming so for me there are no issues related to battery backup or charging speed on my oneplus 7 pro running oxygen os 12.1 stable build and and guys we are not coming up with the camera review because there are no changes we have personally tested we did not notice any kind of improvements in the camera segment now moving on to the gaming part so here a lot of users have been asking us about the gaming performance so this time i did not test out much of bgmi because i have seen with almost every smartphone right now present in the market bgmi do lags and you'll see a lot of frame drops 90 fps support have been removed from oxygen os 12.1 so if you are expecting 90 fps guys do not update your 
device to Oxygen OS 12.1. So as said, BGMI do have little bit of issues. So to check out the gaming performance, we did try out another game which is Grid Auto Sport. And this game I personally purchased because it comes with some intense graphics. And with no doubt I can say, I did not see any kind of frame drops. Device was constantly maintaining 60 FPS with zero drops. Sometimes I did notice CPU now and then going up to 100% usage but that's okay until unless your device doesn't get much heated up or you don't see much of frame drops then you're good to go. As said earlier I did notice slight heating issues on Oxygen OS 12.1 compared to 11. On 12 with regular usage also my OnePlus 7 Pro was heating up a bit. And here in Bangalore the temperature is not that much but still I did notice slight heating issues on my OnePlus 7 Pro after the stable build of Oxygen OS 12.1. So guys this was the in-depth testing of Oxygen OS 12.1 for OnePlus 7 and 70 series. I hope I have covered almost everything and I have mentioned all the issues which I have faced. So if I have missed out anything you guys let me know in the comment section below. As of now only this much in this video. I hope you guys are gonna like the video. If you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.